Oh, how I can't wait to prove my worth to my father. <laughs> no, dipshit! I'm amazing! Daddy just gave me a raise, you prick! <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Um, I just can't wait to work with you. I really value your work here. Not interested! You are too lame to work with, you prick face! <laughs> Brother, beloved brother, I just thought we could work beloved together, you know, like brother to brother. <laughs> why don't you uh, fuck off? I'm not interested. If you want to help, why don't you just cut yourself? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. Get over it, shithead! <laughs> well, I just thought we could work together, beloved. Brother, together. No, because I'm the bully, a big shitting bully. <laughs> I love being shit and bullying my brother, Kane. Hey, brother, are you thirsty? Yeah. Ha ha! <laughs> 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 Look, it's a. Uh, like you pissed yourself. <laughs> anyway, enough of this banter. <laughs> I have important maths to be doing, and it takes me at least 15 times longer to do. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> G Goodbye. Are able the floor as well? Oh no! to 
a street light, he is called by the police. <laughs> Confirming his father's fears are unsympathetic to the hopelessly improbable truth. Due to a tragic freak incident of parental amnesia caused by the death of his favourite son, Kane's father is unable to provide his alibi and in the following mental vacuum has believed the police's side of the story. Kane is convicted and sentenced to 25 years in prison, which he serves nobly and untouched by bitter resentment, even to his brother, despite him being an arsehole who had it coming. The end!